In this video, we are going to learn on interpolation of data using Python. Interpolation is a process of finding a value between two points on a line or a curve. Imagine we have a few data points for two things. Let's call them X and Y. We are not sure how they are connected, but let's assume something like Y equals F of X. From this given limited data, we want to predict a function that can generate y values for a given x values. Interpolation techniques are commonly used in situations where you have a limited number of experimental data sets. There are several mathematical theories on interpolation which allows for several algorithms but we are going to use inbuilt function using Python. So let's have a look at 1D interpolation. The simplest interpolation technique is linear interpolation it assumes that the data follows a straight line between two given data points let's see with an example so here we'll be using Jupyter notebook so let's first import the numpy and the matplotlib library So in this example, let's plot a sine function by taking 11 data points. So let's run it. As you can see, it's very hard to visualize the nature of the curve given the data points are scattered. So ideally this should look like a sine wave but as you can see, because of less number of points, the data looks very clumsy. So now let's do a linear interpolation. So now we will be using SciPy inbuilt 1D interpolation module. And first we will be doing a linear interpolation. So let's import the module. So now let's create the interpolation function. And let's do linear interpolation. So now let's do the interpolation for n number of points. So now we will be doing interpolation and let's increase the number of points to 100. So now let's plot the interpolated data together with the original data. As you can see for this simple sine function, given that we do not have enough data points to start with, Linear interpolation did not give the accurate results. 
Therefore, if you do not have enough data points in your data, linear interpolation may give you large systematic errors. Now, in order to accurately do an interpolation and minimize the error, we can do a higher order interpolation like a cubic spline interpolation. In contrast to linear interpolation, which is made of linear data points, cubic interpolation is made of segments of cubic polynomials whose gradient matches with the measured given data points. Therefore, if you do a cubic interpolation in this case, you have much better results and you can clearly visualize the sine wave pattern. So let's do a cubic interpolation. So if you change the kind of interpolation to cubic and then plot the data, as you can see, this interpolation looks very reasonable and the systematic error is largely reduced. So you can see that the interpolated results resembles the original sine wave. So depending on your data, linear or cubic interpolation can give you better results. So now let's talk about 2D interpolation. For 2D interpolation, we import the module rect by variate spline. So let's consider a function z equals sine of x into cos of y. So first let's plot the data point for a given set of range of data. So for 2D interpolation, we have to import the module rect by variate spline from scipy.interpolate. So now let's create x and y array spanning from 0 to 20 and plot the function z equals sine of x into cos of y. Now let's create a mesh grid. Now let's calculate the function z. So now let's plot the original data. So just to plot the original data and the interpolated data, I made two columns figure. As you can see, the data looks to be quite pixelated because you have very less number of points. So now let's do the interpolation and plot the interpolated data along with the original data. So for interpolation, we would increase the number of points to let's say 201 instead of 21. So let's define x new and y new as new x and y variables. And let's increase the number of points to 201. So now let's create the interpolated function.
So now let's create the interpolation function at the new grid points. So now let's plot the interpolated data together with the original data. So this is the original data and this is the interpolated data. As you can see that the interpolated data looks much realistic since this data resembles a function sine of x into cos of y.